I like you to 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 react to some of these comments that I heard uh, about the manner in which you attacked Peter Obi, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party. There are those who believe that you had thought that you were going to be that kind of alternative to look uh, to look out for in that election. But as soon as you saw Peter Obi and he was gaining the attention and the kind of popularity, it got, you got upset and you were co going after him. And then it was just simply malicious that those who, who reacted in that manner. You see, the best way to judge this is to look at you, Shion or Kimbaloye. You run a political show every night in Nigeria for almost five days. How many times did you interview me? Probably three times throughout the election. So when was I, how many times did I have to talk about Peter B? How many times did I talk about all the candidates? I talked about every candidate. The, the, but the feeling was that the manner in which you approach Peter Obi's matter, it was I personal, all of it them. was malicious. All of, and uh, all of the political all of the political leaders, I spoke about their past, their present, and their future. But did and you have anything personal with but Peter Obi? Did you have anything let personal with Peter Obi? Let, let, let me finish. I have nothing personal against him. In fact, were it not for me, Peter Obi may not have become a candidate of the Labour Party. And I've said this to you on your show before, that it was our Court of Appeal records, unpublished, you study law now, that was used by Febe Falano to get Peter Obi a spot as a candidate when the Labour Party was, you know, falling apart. I was the one who provided the documents to Peter Obi's lawyer, Febe Falano. You can just, you can find that. And it's not the first time I helped Peter Obi. When he was governor, and Obasan Jode wanted to remove him, I helped using Sahara reporters to expose all the plots against him. So you can ask him all this. How would I get upset about the candidates that I know is going to end up the way he ended? No, because the, the, the feeling, the feelers, and and, and I'm and I'm and I'm reflecting this is like a mirror. I'm reflecting no, the you, feelings you, of some people to you, you, you that you, you what ask, you, what you happened to Peter that. B. Now you what happened? Ask me that. You, no, you always ask me. No, that. no, no. no I'm I'm asking you again. These elections are over. I mean, let that me those through. who believe that you what you saw in Peter B. was what Shore wished for himself. But he couldn't get. No, I don't. I don't wish for myself what Peter B had. I don't wish for. I don't wish for a movement that is not real. What's well, never been me? What do you, you mean by it's not real? The Obidem movement is no. not real. If they were real, why was it that when they were cheated, they couldn't raise a finger? You know, come on now. I've said this publicly. I'm. I'm probably the only reason why you kept repeating this is that. They were able to, the obedience movement, or some of them, not all of them, well, you know, were able to scare a lot of people, particularly on social media. A lot of people were afraid of them. I was not afraid of them. I spoke my mind about Peter B, regardless of what they did to me, regardless of, you know, the abuses, the insult. No, I, that's that's probably what you keep referring to. So if I speak about Tinubu, Tinubu doesn't talk to anybody. He doesn't even come to debates. You know, he doesn't have a social media presence that is always out there aggressively challenging anybody or protecting their candidate and saying, you can't talk about our candidate, you know. So that might be what you interpret to mean that, oh, you wish that you'd be Peter Obi. I don't wish to be Peter Obi. I've never wished to be anybody but myself. This has been me for 33 years, you know. So... What 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 would I gain being Peter B? Nothing. If I was Peter B, I would have ended up as Peter B in 2022. I would have been cheated up the up the election, as he claimed he was cheated. But but but, but sure, do you think that Peter if, Peter if I was the one could could have won I that know, election? They know. So I spoke about this from the beginning. But like I mentioned to you, the media doesn't talk to me. A lot you interview me only three times the whole of my interviews in all the major newspapers major tv stations in nigeria wasn't even up to one percent of what was devoted to other candidates but yet you claim that i'm jealous where am i jealous why would i be jealous of anybody 